All right, so let's try problem 27 from chapter 6. And this question asks, which of these are chiral? So what does it mean that it's chiral? That means that it has an enantiomer, that its mirror image is not the same, and that uh, it will rotate plane polarized light. It's optically active. Those all uh, mean the same thing, okay? Now, um, for A, we have heptane, and it's 2,4-dimethyl heptane. Uh, if you look, there are two chiral centers. Don't forget there's an H on each of these. Each of those carbon atoms has four different groups. So uh, this compound will have four stereoisomers. And this particular stereoisomer has an enantiomer. What does that mean? Its mirror image is not the same. It's not superimposable. Um, B, uh, let's see, what do we have here? Heptane, and it's 3,3-dimethyl, and oops, and five, Ethyl. One, two, three, four. Yep. Now, is this compound chiral? Well, you might focus in on this carbon, but is that a chiral center? No. It has two methyl groups. How about that carbon? Carbon number five. Is that chiral? I'm sorry, is that a chiral center, I should say? No, it is not a chiral center. It has two ethyl groups on it. So to have an enantiomer, there has to be at least one chiral center. If there's one chiral center, there is definitely an enantiomer. This has no chiral centers. Not chiral. Okay. What about uh, C? Cyclohexane. And it says 1, 3 dimethyl. And it's cis. So I'll draw them coming up. I could have them both going up or both going down. Now, there are two chiral centers. And those are right here and here where the methyl groups are. But is this particular compound, this specific compound, chiral. No, it is not. Um, with two chiral centers, there are four possible stereoisomers. But only three or this compound. So this compound has two other stereoisomers. And why is that? It is because the cis form has internal symmetry.
And so this is the meso form. This particular stereoisomer has no enantiomer. So no enantiomer. Therefore, not chiral.